In the middle of October, this far north, the days become increasingly short, and though it is only two o'clock in the afternoon, it is time to return to the camp, and the hunters set off down the mountainside. The sun rapidly sinks in the sky, and little by little the gentle colors of twilight envelop the peaks of Altai. In the dying light of the day, the Kazakh hunters reach the camp where a fine meal of lamb awaits them. But before they can eat, they must feed the hungry eagles exhausted after the first flights of the winter. Kumar Khan, the master hunter, gives them cow liver to eat in a wooden bowl so they won't damage their beaks. Each one of these birds of prey can eat two cows in a single year. Around a dish of succulent lamb prepared in the traditional manner, the hunters give thanks to Allah and without losing a minute start to devour the delicious meat. But tonight is a special night, and not just because they are celebrating the start of the hunting season. Tomorrow, the five friends will set out for Djordjok, a small settlement four days' ride away, where a group of hunters is going to meet for the first time to hold the competition. The rest of the family will pack up camp and move to their winter home. With all the calm in the world and still feeling the effects of the previous nights of vodka, Komarkan, Aldaikan, Talaikan, Shekan and Kusan prepare their horses for the long journey. Meanwhile, the women and children will, in little over half an hour, take down the girls. Unlike the other nomadic tribes of the country, the Kazakhs spend the winter in small houses made of wood and adobe in the lowlands, which make the temperatures of 45 degrees below zero, normal at this time of year, slightly more bearable. They are seasonal nomads, that is, they only migrate four times a year, coinciding with the seasons. The five hunters are now ready to set out on their journey. They will ride for six hours a day, resting each night in the gurs they find along the way. If all the nomadic tribes on earth can be said to have one thing in common, then it is their hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> 